Question number four of exercise 8.1 from the chapter application of integrals. Friends, the question is like this: Find the area of the region bounded by the ellipse x square upon 16 plus y square upon 9 is equal to 1. Okay. Now to solve this question, firstly we shall sketch the area required to be calculated. Okay. Now the given ellipse x square upon 16 plus y square upon 9 is equal to 1 is in the standard form x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. So I can write the equation of ellipse as x square upon 4 square plus y square upon 3 square is equal to 1. From this equation of ellipse I can easily write that the center is, is origin that is 0 0. It is symmetric about x axis and y axis. Okay. The major axis is along x axis and it intersects x axis at the point plus minus 4 comma 0. You can anyhow calculate by by placing y is equal to 0 for the value of x and it intersects y axis at 0 comma plus minus 3 and this you can also easily calculate by placing x is equal to 0. And all the information I have written because I have the knowledge of ellipse and its properties. Okay. So, all this information can be only written if I know basic knowledge about ellipse. So, I request you to have a basic knowledge or go back to your class 11 and study about, study little bit about ellipse, its uh, main properties and you will easily answer that why is the major axis along x axis and uh, this point of intersection on x axis is actually the ends of the major axis that is written as plus minus a comma zero. This intersection of y axis is actually the ends of the minor axis and which is written as zero comma plus minus three. Okay, so all this require the knowledge of basic knowledge of ellipse and if we take the coordinate axis we can easily mark the point a as four comma zero, b as minus four, uh, a dash as minus four comma zero that is the ends of the major axis and simply and similarly I can mark the ends of the major ax minor axis as uh, 0 comma 3 and 0 comma minus 3 and I can draw the ellipse like this. So this is the required sketch of the ellipse which is required. Now since the ellipse is symmetric about x axis and y axis so this implies that the coordinate axis divides the ellipse into four quadrants of equal area. So all these four quadrants would have, will, uh, are going to have the same area. And we can write that the area of the ellipse is equal to 4 times the area of the one quadrant. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to calculate the area of just one quadrant and multiply it by 4 to get the total area of the ellipse. Okay, so for this what, we, what I am going to do, I am going to take this first quadrant or the quadrant of the ellipse which is going to lie in the first quadrant of the coordinate axis. Okay, so I am going to calculate this area. Now to calculate the area, I have divided this area into the vertical strips as shown. And if I take this one of the vertical strips, so its width can be taken as dx. This distance, distance of any point on the curve from x axis would be equal to y. So the width, this, the other side that is the length of the rectangle is actually the line joining x axis and the point on the curve so this will be equal to y and this y would be obtained from this equation of the curve okay so anyhow the area of one of the vertical strip which is taken in the first quadrant can be written as y dx and now we are going to calculate the value of y so i write the equation of ellipse i can write y square upon 9 is equal to 1 minus x square upon 16. now i cross multiply line uh, 9 on the uh, right hand side and on taking the square root I can write y is equal to plus minus 3 times the square root of 1 minus x square upon 16 or plus minus 3 by 4 that is taking LCM inside this radical sign and I can write this as equal to uh, 3 by 4 times square root of 16 minus x square okay I hope this calculations would not be any problem to you so placing the value of y I get 3 by 4 times square root of 16 minus x square dx is the value of y dx okay so this is the area of one of the strip which is taken in the first quadrant okay 
Now the area of the first quadrant would be taken by adding all the strips in the first quadrant. So the limits I'm going to take would be from origin to this point A that is from 0 to 4. So this is the required area of the first quadrant of the of the ellipse. Okay. So this 16 I have written as equal to 4 square. I'm going to apply this formula to obtain 3 by 4 times x square upon 2 times square root of x square 4 square minus x square plus 4 square upon 2 into sine inverse of x upon 4 from the limit 0 to 4. If you know this formula, what you have to do? You have to just place a as equal to 4 to obtain this expression and place the limits. Okay. Now you can see that if I place the upper limit 4, so this value is going to become 0, this will become sine inverse of 4 upon 4 that is sine inverse of 1 which can be written as pi by 2 okay and on placing x equal to 0 I am going to get this value as equal to 0 and this value as equal to sine inverse of 0 which is equal to 0 so you can see here also that if we have placed x is equal to 4 then this term is going to become 0 if I place x is equal to 0 then this and this are going to become 0 okay this I have already told you that this will be equal to pi by 2 so this value will be equal to 3 by 4 times 8 into sine inverse of 1 and all these zeros are going to uh, disappear and the sine inverse of 1 can be written pi by 2 okay so this will become 4 pi and 4 and 4 are going to cancel to give me 3 pi so the area of the complete ellipse would be equal to 4 times the area of the 1 quadrant Therefore, the area of ellipse would be equal to 4 into 3 pi that is equal to 12 pi square unit. So, this is how we are going to solve this question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.